We're going to trim and uh, fit the body shell. And the first job is to glue the magnets onto the three mounting screws. In fact, the very first job is to put these screws into the holes in the chassis. Decide whether you've got a choice of two holes. Decide which one you're using. The instructions will tell you. Put the screw in and right down the screwdriver all the way and all the way back to cut a thread. So to make it easier once we've glued the uh, magnets on. These have been just put into a bit of a bit of wood here, well apart from each other. Otherwise, the magnets will uh, will jump across. So we're going to mix a little bit of two-part epoxy here, just to get this to mix in quite small amounts. I've got a, a little knife for mixing them together. And then a little bit on each screw head. And put these little magnets on. Try and get them centrally. And while they're setting, we can look at the body shell. What we need is a small pair of uh, little curved nail cutters. You can buy these quite cheaply. Start by roughing it out. Take a piece out of the wheel arch. And then work gradually up to the, up to the lines marked on. Takes a little time. Take a bit out of the time if necessary, and you'll get there. And when, when you've got as much out as you can, you need something like this half round file here, which is a nice radius similar to the wheel arch, and then work that up. Until you get to the radius, we'll leave that at that. Go over to the rear and using ordinary scissors again, just get it rough and roughed out. Just start with and then work up to that line. We can get across straight across the back. Take this piece out. Similarly, okay, gradually get it up to the up to the line. We finished the body shell. Now, um, we'll just make sure there's no burrs on the inside edges. That will uh, catch the wheels when they when they turn. The mounting screws are still setting, so they need a good few hours to dry. So we've got here some that we did earlier, and we're going to put these into the into the car now. Uh, just screw them down as far as they'll as far as they'll go with your fingers. But then, with pliers, very carefully, just hold the heads uh, to turn them. Don't hold the magnet, otherwise 
you may well break it off and then you'd have to start again. So put all those in roughly to a height to start with and uh, then we can adjust it uh, afterwards. <coughs> We've fitted these in. I think the front hole for this Porsche body is probably the, the best hole to use. Um, just put them approximately level. Then take the other three magnets and uh, drop those on the top. And then another oh, flat surface. Put the body shell on. It's not, not catching on the wheels. But I think it could be a little bit higher actually at the front. We'll turn the front up a little bit. Make sure the body's not actually resting on the wheels. We've mixed some more glue and we've put the magnets on top there so now we're going to put a little bit of glue on top of each magnet. And a little bit in the car. Um, I suggest you rub it up a little bit with Emery and roughen it up a bit. Where the magnets going and uh, put a little bit of glue just check where they're going to go and put a bit of glue on the inside and then carefully drop the body on and it's got to be nice and central a little weight to hold it down and then keep checking that it's central. You may need to put a weight at the front to stop it sliding forwards. Keep checking that it's in the middle. Forward a little bit I think. In the centre, hopefully, and leave it to dry. I'll just check the body shell, see if it's fixed properly and comes off. Yes, that's fine. It's a good idea probably to reinforce around the magnets uh, with a little extra glue once, once you've got them uh, in position like that. Pretty good. I'll do that again. I like doing that. The Porsche is a simple paint scheme, but if you want to do two tones, it's just a question of, uh, say, with this Alpha, painting the nose one colour and then uh, masking the colour off, which you probably then cover up the paint that you've, you've applied. Like, like that. Put two, put two layers on there and uh, mask that over. I haven't trimmed this body, I'm just demonstrating. Cover up all the, the green and uh, spray, the, spray the rest of the body then. Uh, any sort of masking tape should do the job, but make sure the paint's well dry, otherwise it will uh, it will peel off when you pull the masking tape off. To paint the wheels, uh, mask the whole car like that. Just cut a little hole in the paper and uh, make sure everything's sealed all around it. And use this little masking card provided and your, your spray can. And then it's just a question of positioning it and hand down carefully over the hole. Give it a quick spray, but try and build it up with a few coats, let it dry 
first and wait a few minutes and then put another little coat on, just build it up gradually.